about that in a few minutes. Dion. All right, Jared, thanks. Well, tonight there's a new street name in Baton Rouge, Lori Burgess Avenue. It was a celebration in honor of a woman who made history here in the city. Our man Miranda Thomas explains why some say this name change was needed for the community. Lori Burgess, you may know her as the first African-American woman mayor pro tem in Baton Rouge. Lori Burgess was the hardest working woman in the city of Baton Rouge. She was also a sister, mentor, and friend before she died of cancer in 2020. Those who knew her say she was a servant to the people in her city. Today, those people honor her legacy. We thought it was only fitting that we named the street after Lori. So small children 20, 30 years from now can say, Mom, who is Miss Burgess? And they can tell the story of all the great things she's done in this community. Hundreds of folks signed a petition to remove what was formerly known as East Washington Street and replace it with the name Lori Burgess. Burgess served on the city council for 12 years and as the director of the Sickle Cell Foundation, she stayed long nights at the Dr. Leo S. Butler Community Center. Lori understood that the more you give it away, the bigger it becomes, okay. even in death. And that is why we sit here, because she gave it all away. Lori didn't leave here full. She left here empty, but the legacy is still full of life. Community members fought hard for her name to be remembered where she spent the most time, right here in District 10. Family and friends challenged those watching to keep her legacy alive. When we see the street name today, and as you travel up and down the street, Recognize that we're not just changing the name of the road that we walk on. We're changing the way that we walk in. In Baton Rouge, Miranda Thomas, WFB 9 News. Now to this crime alert, this man is